How's it going guys? My name is Landon with Ice Pyre Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the most broken exploit in Europa Universalis 4 in the 1.29 and hopefully the 1.30 patch. This exploit builds on two exploits that I've already highlighted on this channel. The first being the exploit that allows you to give yourself the cores that any nation starts with in the game. So for instance, the Timurids start with all of these cores on their subjects. You're able to give yourself those cores and start the game with a huge blob of extra territory. The other exploit involves taking a custom nation's ideas and then transposing those ideas onto any nation that has badges in the bottom of the screen. So for this exploit, um, I'm going to be using the Kingdoms of the East, and I'm going to be transposing these ideas onto the Timurids. So for this exploit, you also need three things. Um, if you want to see a guide on the first half of this, involving um, getting the whole bunch of different cores. I have a video on that on this channel already, and I will be linking that into the description and at the end of this video. So the first thing that you're going to need is a normal game file in which that you have given yourself all of the land that you wish to start with. Um, having cores are better than having non-cores as you have to core those non-cores at the start of the game, and you'll have a lot of overextension. So be careful about how much land you give yourself. I have a guide on that already. Um, and the second thing that you're going to need is a uh, Iron Man file that has the 11 November 1444 start date. It can be any country minus Byzantium here. Um, and then the last thing that you're gonna need is a custom nation that has the ideas that you want. So uh, my custom nation looks something like this. I'm gonna load it up. This custom nation has the culture and religion of the country that you want. If they are different, you're going to have some revolts and that will not be fun. The other thing, um, make sure that you have your map graphics and technology group of the country that you start with. If you start with Western tech or Western map graphics as the Timurids, you won't be able to see India. Um, and and in general, um, you know the Muslim graphics, you're still able to see Europe. So it's it's just a, a good a good way to not have to take exploration and then go explore India as a, a country that you want to be conquering. India with. So we'll just stay, we'll stay Muslim tech group, even though the Western tech group is a little bit better. And then here are my ideas. Um, I want admin efficiency and core cost reduction. The Mughals themselves have 25% core cost reduction, but um, with the rest of these broken military ideas that I have selected here, um, that's, that's going to be a 5% core cost reduction. No one cares about that when we have all of these other broken things and the 10% admin efficiency on top of it. Um, we're just going to be a powerhouse with our military. We're going to take a lot of land with the province war score cost reduction. It's going to be great. The other thing that you want to have is have 666 ruler stats. I did test um, if you have a 40-year-old ruler with two other traits and immortal ruler, it doesn't work. I have yet to test whether or not the immortal ruler trait will work with a young um, 666 uh, ruler. So we'll test that here. But regardless, you should give yourself 666 ruler stats. Uh, there's no not... There's no reason to not do it. Uh, and you should be good to go. So go ahead and save that custom nation file that you've created. And after you've done that, just go ahead, delete it, and then completely restart the game. Don't hit back, don't go back to the menu. Restart the game entirely. Um, this will circumvent some of the crashing issues that you're going to experience. Uh, this exploit is very hit or miss for me. I've been playing around with it uh, for several hours now, and it has yet to um, be very consistent. Uh, hopefully this um, tutorial guide here, this run through of me doing this, will be uh, consistent for you guys and you can just follow along the steps that I choose. So we'll launch back into the game here. It's taking me a minute. All right, we're back in the game. Go ahead and hit single player. We'll hit our save games here. We'll click on the normal game file that we have created. We'll create custom nation. Now here you give yourself all of the land that you do not start with at the start of the game. The reason you do this is because if you give yourself land that you already have cores on, you will lose that core once you load into the game. So we'd rather keep those cores. And we'll make ourselves a big blobby custom nation all around what the Timurids are at the start of the game. So here's the 1444 Timurids, and here's our custom nation. Go ahead and hit done. Then go down to your custom, or excuse me, your Iron Man save file. Click on that. 
it'll pull up this window asking you, um, do you are you sure you want to delete your custom mission? Go ahead and hit cancel. You see the map graphics do change back to what they were before. Hit add. You'll see a D00 custom nation code for custom nation. Create a new custom nation on a uncolonized province and then delete it right away. This will trick the game into thinking that you are an Iron Mad and your Timurids or whichever country you've blobbed out will be uh, selectable on the map. So if you want, you can go ahead and select this and then play as an Iron Man Timurids that starts like this um, and you'll be good to go. But we're going to go one step further and then transpose those custom nation ideas that we made earlier onto this Timurids. To do that, go ahead and hit custom nation and click a province. I'm choosing this province here and I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to shift right click onto this badge and this pulls up this interface GUI button. Click on that and go ahead and do that twice in a row. That brings up some menus here um, that will be closing to trick the game into thinking that we're um, not tr trying to trick the game. So go ahead and click on the Kingdoms of the East if you want to be using the Timurids. I will hit OK. We can delete the custom nation. That's OK. I don't mind. And then we're good to go. We can hit Cancel twice on these windows. That brings up these custom nation buttons down here. We're going to hit Cancel two more times. And then we're going to hit Custom Nation, select the same province we chose before, uh, and leave these buttons that pop up up, and not do anything with those. Then we hit Cancel two more times, and the badges should appear in the bottom. Now, this might or might not work. Um, I've had very inconsistent re results with this. So if it doesn't work, I think the main issue is either selecting the same province um, I don't know if selecting this province works or not, or the speed of which you relaunch the GUI button. If you do it twice in a row really fast, I found that I've had more consistent results. So that might be a fix as well. So if you do that really, really fast, you shift right click the GUI button and do it twice in a row really quickly. That might be the issue. But for this purpose, it seems that it's working just fine. We see our badges and we still have the custom nation buttons down here. That's all we need. Click on the nation's badge that you want to be playing as. I will choose the Timurids. And then we will load, once we see the Timurids selected up here, we will load the custom nation that we have created onto the Timurids. Boom, Shy Rook is no more. We have a 666 ruler. We have these broken ideas, and we're ready to play the game. If we hit done, it won't let us save it because it thinks that we're over the custom point limit. That's fine. We're not playing as this custom nation. We're playing as the Timurids. So let's delete this. It'll ask us if we want to delete Timurids. Of course. Timurids cannot be deleted. We're fine. We will, however, have to delete the other custom nation that we've created down here. So go ahead and click custom nation one more time, hit modify, and then hit delete. You should have no more custom nations left on the map, but if you want to check, go ahead and click custom nation one more time. There's no more. Hit cancel. We're good to go. Now you can just click on the Timurids or whichever country you chose, and you see they still have their ideas, and they still are very blobby. We can finally hit play, hit Iron Man. You see that achievements can be enabled and can be earned and we'll play as the Timurids. We'll save over this broken file right here because this exploit is most certainly broken. Now we can see that uh, we have the Timurids with all of this clay. The only core we have uh, to core is this row um, province right here. It's part of Afghanistan that Timurids do not start with a core on. So we can go ahead and we can make that a core of ours if we would so choose. Um, and we see that we have our ideas. We have the core cost reduction, we have the admin efficiency, and we have ridiculous military ideas, as well as so much clay, so much more money that we'll be earning. And we're basically ready to just invade India right now. We don't have to mess with Ajam, we don't have to mess with our subjects. We're ready to just bum rush India, form the Mughals, and conquer the world. You can do a lot with this exploit. You can go to the New World, you can choose Establish Siberian Frontier, and just demolish the New World if you so choose. I think I'm going to play the Timurids out, get the Sweet Home Korra Korra achievement where you assimilate all of Mongolian culture. Where are we? Right down here. I have not yet gotten this achievement yet. I have yet to play the Mughals and attempt a world conquest with them. Um, so we'll tr we'll go ahead and we'll try and do that. Um, but yeah, do whatever you want with this, uh, this, uh, this exploit. I hope this is helpful and you guys can have a lot of fun with it before it is patched. It probably will be. They attempted to patch this exploit before. Um, you were able to transpose custom nation ideas um, as well as your immortal ruler traits um, in the previous patches. But you can see that we still have Shah Rook's traits here. These uh, did not change. But um, 
our ruler is at age 20 and our heir is at age zero. So make sure that your ruler ages and your heir ages are the minimum because you can't change these. Um, these traits are hard-coded into the game, but the stats of the ruler can be changed. So that's another thing you can do. If you did like this, please give a thumbs up and subscri consider subscribing. Excuse me. Consider subscribing down below. It'll be very appreciated. If you want to see more EU4 guides, exploits, and other content like this in the future. That being said, have a good one.